Right, well we're in winter time now, so I'm doing the best that I can with the lighting I've got available to me um, at the machine. Ooh, dropping everything as usual. Right, so just to secure our pleats in our bodice, I'm just going to run a straight stitch down the side here. Help find my pedal. Just to hold those kind of secure. We'll do the same on the shoulder. Going a bit slow so I can go over my pins. Don't recommend it. But I am a bit naughty. So there, I've just sealed oops, camera went focus. I've just sealed those there. And on the longer side, I've just sealed those in there. Oh, and I caught that one going the wrong direction, but you won't do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is just remove those pins. There we go. Oop. Remove those pins and get my back, my bodice back. And with right sides together, I'm just going to match the shoulder. I'm going to sew that together. Everything moves. Use a lot of pins, use a lot of clips. And you'll be absolutely fine. A lot of you are a bit weary of satin. There's nothing really to be worried about. As long as you pin it and take your time. So that's our shoulders joined. There, you can see how it's held the pleats in. And then what we're going to do is find my pleated side. Going to join the shoulders on. Sorry, all my bits are a bit muddled up here. We're going to join the shoulders with the right sides together on the linings. So we're just prepping all of our pieces here <clears throat> and what we're going to do is with right sides together of our lining we're going to start at the short edge of the satin on the back and we're going to sew the neckline. And then when we get to the join here, we're going to sew down to the corner there to make the front neckline. Opening that seam as we go so that it lays flat. Okay, great. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, pink that edge to take some of the bulk away. satin is quite dainty you know anything you put behind it it's gonna it's gonna have quite a bulky effect so just, that's quite a lot to have removed so that's good right the next thing we're going to do let me zoom out a bit give you a bit of a better view and try and stop it focusing on everything near the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to open that out so you can see now that that becomes, if you turn that over and you give it a press, that becomes the back. And if we turn that over and give it a press, 
that becomes the front and now what we need to do is join the right hand sides together so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go right sides together on the sorry yeah we're going to go right sides together on the satin I'm going to find my side which is there and that will take us to right sides together on the lining and they're opened out flat so let's just pop that one on don't worry if your pleats overhang the edge that's absolutely fine <clears throat> I think Colin's shouting at the cat sorry everybody as long as you match those sides up there you'll be right a little bit of a back tack on the end there right so now when we open it up if I've got this correct then we can push our lining to the back, fold it inside and we've got a lined bodice. How cool is that? So obviously this corner needs just to come down there and then there's an opposite corner up here. There he is. Ooh, where have you gone? There he is. That needs to go there. So all I'm going to do is just put a pin in randomly to show you the structure. Zip. There we go. There. So now you can see it's coming together. We've got our shoulder. We've got our side. And we've got our sort of flouncy bits in the middle. Now what you want to do is you want to roll this seam flat. It does help to wet a finger or two, roll that out and press like you've never pressed before. And whilst you're pressing, if you open up this side, what I want you to do is iron one centimetre of the raw edge that's the underarm, under, Let's see if I can show you this. So we're just going to fold that in on itself to the wrong side like that and iron that and then what you're going to do is the same with the satin turn the left arm under the shoulder in okay so that we've got a seam and then very close to the edge once you've done all your ironing please do your ironing if you skip your ironing You'll find this really difficult and I am actually finding it very difficult to show you but to save me jumping around the uh, the studio one side to the other what we're going to do is enclose that seam those raw edges there neatly just with a straight stitch all the way up the edge past the shoulder course any threads or anything you can see poking out you need to deal with those as you go so when we get to the shoulder seam we have a big fight with all of the threads uh, but we eventually get there and pop that under and off we go again so that's over the seam and then all we're going to do is come all the way down. Just reposition it a few times. Yours is ironed, so it's going to be much easier. Mine is not ironed because I'm a fraud. And I like to fly by the seam of my pants. So there we go. <laughs> right, so... Now what we've got is we've got our shoulder 
our lined neckline nice and neatly pressed, our gathered side, and we've got our nice and tidy side seam. Now if you can, pop onto a um, zigzag. What we're going to do is I'll bring you in closer. There we go. I hope you're in closer. There we go. What we're going to do is we're just going to zigzag over these edges to keep them together. Mine will look a bit funny because mine's a flatbed machine, but you'll be able to you'll be able to get yours in nice and neatly, I'm sure. So just putting the centre of the groove on the um, fold, not the fold, sorry, where the seams meet, and just for about a centimetre, go forwards and then go back. Now what that has done is given us a temporary hold to keep our bodies together. And you can see on mine I've got a bit of excess lining here. Because I haven't ironed it yet, I'm not going to trim it. When I, when I iron it, if I then find that I have a bit more, yeah, you see by pulling that down, it's starting to meet. I will probably neaten that up once I've ironed it, just to make sure that the um, the bottom of the satin and the lining do meet, because that is going to be useful when we do our skirt. So that's the bodice. Thank you. 